You don't whisper in someone's ear <laughs> on a podcast. <laughs> you don't raise their microphone under their fucking headphones and go, can you say this? To them? <laughs> what, do you, what do you want me to say? No. Like, I'm not going to fucking tell them. Um, okay. So we bought a sex doll. And not to bring this up, your name's Joe, and um, my dad's name is Joe. He cheated on my mom. So we already started off on a bad front. <laughs> oh, my God. And I, I feel like your father. <laughs> you could be, though. You could be Joe, too. Nice. Oh, thank yeah. you so much. And I just wanted to bring that up now, just, just so you know we're going to have to work towards our friendship. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm down to work on it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ready to start this episode? Well, yeah, that was the start right there. Well, what about Ilya? Do you know an Ilya? Um, I, I know about six Ilias, actually. Which oh, is yeah. Sorry, you don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't, I don't no know way, why. No way, bro. Wait, how do you okay. say your last name? Fedorovich. Fedorovich. Hey, yeah, we're but. just gonna pretend like you only have a first name. Yeah, you don't, right. have to, you don't have to bring that up. Just first name's fine. Perfect. <laughs> All right, uh, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. You guys good? Are you guys get hot or cold or anything? I am a little hot. Yeah, he gets hot and cold like between. Yeah. Okay. We, we're I usually able to, we're able to have the right AC now? running. Huh? Are you recording right now? Yeah. It's yeah, fine, but we're not but using it. Yeah. Oh no, there we go. Oh. Nice. Yeah, Sexy take it off, Joe. baby. Oh. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> You you okay, now you are my dad. So. <laughs> <laughs> the sex appeal is there. Hey. That's really Dude, funny. you could definitely cheat he on said, my mom. Are you recording? Because they need to see this. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's iconic. All right, I'm just going to roll the intro then. Wow. <laughs> no. Pretty cool. Thank you. What's, What's up, up, guys? Wait, that, I do mine first, no, and you, you know don't. that. No, you don't. You're being disrespectful no, to our I guests. No, I always do it right after the intro. Okay, she's got a little Italian in her, so you just got to watch out. What's up, viewers? Welcome back to Dropouts. This is episode 66. We have some cool guests. Let's get into the freaking thing. Okay, it's what's up, guys? It's episode 66 of Dropouts. We've got Joe, who is the same name as my father. We talked about that, and we're working on it. And we've got Ilya, who doesn't have a last name because no one can pronounce it. But <laughs> what's up, guys? Welcome to... Um, our Welcome apartment. To dropouts. Thanks, Thanks for, for having, having us. us. Jake. Oh. Dude, we rehearsed it. So we got the chemistry just like you guys. The friendship <laughs> is beaming. Yeah. Like three seconds before this podcast started, we were watching the music video that you made for him. Oh, yeah. And um, oh, my God. What an <laughs> iconic music so video that was. Funny. It was emotional. <laughs> yeah. What, what was the idea? Was it a surprise? Like, yeah, it was I, for my birthday, right? It or was no? for his birthday, but I posted it before I showed him it. So that way everybody can enjoy it live. <clears throat> That's beautiful. He cried. No, I didn't. I, oh. I was like. <laughs> It's okay. We get emotional on this yeah, podcast. Okay, okay, you can okay. be honest with us. How long I, was the hug afterwards when you found out about the video? Was it like a decent hug? Uh, I don't think I hugged him. Oh. <laughs> He's, not pretty shy. He's got your face on his shirt. Are you the friends that don't hug? <laughs> um, do He's very that? closed off. That's not true. That's Zach. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Hear me out. That's a great podcast name. Let's all do a podcast together. Friends that don't hug. Friends, okay. that Friends that don't hug. <laughs> We're all on board. I like that. Zach and I had to build up to the hugs because um, at first it was the like. It's the, only because I resent you. It was the side like taps. And then it got right. to the like side, the, the front back taps. And then once we went through some trauma together, then it became the, uh, all right, hugs. now we're close. So now we, we haven't, yeah. we haven't got trauma together yet. So. yet. The trauma will really, really bring you closer in a friendship. Yeah. I mean, it did for us, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Now we like three-way kiss on a weekend. So, oh, where, are you shit. Guys, so where, <laughs> where are you guys from? You want to go Belarus, <laughs> Russia? Uh, that's, yeah. I'm from Belarus. He's from New Jersey. You were born in New Jersey, right? Yeah. yeah. New York. That's basically the same place. So you, were you yeah. born in Russia or were you born in the U.S.? I was born in Belarus in Minsk. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool, cool. Which is, it's like a small country next to Poland. I feel like I heard it once in history class and I just haven't came back to I, it. I don't so. think anybody brings it up because it's like there's nothing to do there and um, it's not it's like a really poor country. But I mean, yeah. we'll, we'll talk about it at length after the podcast. Um, <laughs> is anyone from New Jersey? No. no. Uh, is anyone from Chicago? That's oh, from yeah. New Jersey. Is that New Jersey? Yeah, that's, that's from my college. I've eaten there. Are you serious? Wow, really? that's TikTok crazy. diners oh, that's in Montclair, New Jersey. Wow. I literally just like we needed something to cover the window, and I was like looking up diner exteriors and TikTok diner. I was like, oh, that's kind of ironic. You yeah. Know? And I was like, yeah, but I knew it was from New York. I didn't. What a small fucking world. Yeah, now. I've eaten there. That's that crazy. is really wild. <laughs> what is if that's like you good? in the? Oh my god, in it? the picture? Yeah, uh, that no. is you. Yeah, can you imagine oh you're just in the? I'm throwing up. Dude, that's so funny. So you spend you spend some time in Chicago? Yeah, so I moved from uh from Minsk from Belarus when I was like three. Mm -hmm. I was really young to Chicago. Mm -hmm. And um I was there for like twenty some years and then I moved to LA just last year. And then wow. how long and then you when did you move to LA? For five years ago. Five years ago? And then when did you guys kindle this friendship that seems unbreakable? A year ago. <laughs> it's funny, um when I first met Joe, uh he, I don't think we liked each other yeah. at all. And I always, I always find that so crazy that you never know who you're going to be friends with, who, you, who you're going to date. They could be right in front of you. You know, We're not I mean? dating. Mm -hmm. well, I, I like, mean, I'm Whoa. just... <laughs> it's, it's the, 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 the chemistry seems unbreakable. So. <laughs> and the best relationships are people you're best friends with initially. And then you turn so. into lovers. Yeah. And then I'll watch if it's fun. 
if you guys can have me there. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys met, and then so off the bat, don't like each other, and then. <laughs> well, why? Why do you think you didn't like each other? Was a vibe? Was it something you said? Well, I, I was. Was I he was, wearing that shirt? <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, "What the fuck?" Um, why didn't we like each other? I think at first I was gonna move here for, I was gonna do something with David, my friend, and and Joe thought it was a bad idea because I'd be distracting David because we're best friends or whatever. And um, I don't know. I just I don't think you vibe with me. We just we never hung out, so we never like had oh. time to connect. But then once we started hanging out, then it was just like. I feel like there's yeah. also this stigma because with David and like when you move off, like when your hometown friends come visit, like your new different like college or LA friends, there's always like that first vibe of like, I know him this way. Yeah, well, I know him this way. Right, so is right. that kind of maybe what it was? When I went and uh, met his friends, it was the exact same vibe because like I didn't know any of his hometown friends and it was like, I'm just the, the Australian LA bitch that's coming to say hey. Wait, you're from Australia? Yeah, I was born and raised there and then I moved here six years ago. Oh my God, holy shit, I just, I realized you have an accent just I, when I, you I, said that. Her Weirdly, fake accent. I, it's not fuck off. It's, <laughs> it's, I, it, every time somebody brings it up, my accent gets stronger because then I think about it Wait, a it got too. like 10 times stronger. Exactly, because yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I think about it, because in my mind, I'm like, fuck, now I've really got to put on the Australian accent stronger than I than I normally do, but I've been here six years, so it's it really fades in and out. Oh, wow. And I can do a, like, uh, I can mind. do like a, um, uh, what's the word? Um, what's the word? The, the, Impression? Uh, I, I can do a undetectable American accent. Can we you hear try? It? Yeah. Hey, um, I mean, we're on dropouts right voice. now. Um, wow, that's so fucking cool. <laughs> I've been to America, so I've heard that a lot, and that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, anyway, sorry. College trans distraction continues, sorry. Um, yeah, but then he invited me to do a mukbang with him one day. <laughs> Um, it's how and, all the best friendships stop. Yeah, and uh, I, I think uh, since then we've just fallen in love. That's so. the most LA friendship I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we fell in love in a mukbang. Uh, <laughs> that's kind of how we became friends. That too. really is how we became friends. <laughs> um, yeah, you do a lot of mukbangs on your channel. What are you just always been a foodie, or what's that been about? Super foodie, yeah. and it's just a way for me to get free food and hang out with friends. Nice. Hell yeah, yeah. I well, enjoy that. We don't. We've lived in LA for a little bit, but we don't know like good spots to really eat. So don't. you got to put us in like he's a, your guy. He I knows, your, he knows your everything. Hey, CC us. We'd really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. Have you had Dave's hot chicken down the street? A hundred times. Oh, oh my yes. god. Okay, now we're on the same page. Okay, at least yeah. you know we're doing something good. Yeah, yeah. Dave's hot chicken. But weirdly, every mom I've ever met doesn't like Dave's hot. My mom doesn't like it. Riley's mom does. Like a bunch of moms I know don't like Dave's hot. And I'm like, then you're not living. It's like for I feel like it's for like a younger audience. I you need a weird. strong stomach. Yeah, what Definitely. what heat level are you? I can do the hottest. I can go really hot. Really? Whoa. I'm a medium girl. Yeah. Yeah. Play it safe. It's spicy enough for me. So you moved out here, uh, Joe, originally. What what did you move out here for? Was it the social media side or do you want to filmmaking? Filmmaking. I knew I didn't like New York, so I wanted to try nice. LA. And I kind of just fell into the social media stuff. And then I networked and started shooting for people and then landed here. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. And then yourself? Um, I came here to start a business with David. Nice. Uh, a pizza business. Uh, is it a open? A pizza yeah. business? Yeah. Oh, really? Pizzeria. Yeah. Oh, I'm, you guys it, have a pizzeria? Not yet. It's opening uh, next year. I was like, I, oh, I, shut I don't up. know about this. Yeah. Like, do you have a name for it? Or can you say the name for yeah, it Yeah, Dobrix. D-O-U-G-H-B-R-I-K-S. Like, like an oven brick pizza or oh, something like that? Oh, like Dobrix. Yeah, like Dobrix. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really funny. Yeah. Yeah, it's like gonna be that. really dope. It's on Sunset, um, in West Hollywood. What? Jeez, okay, yeah. okay. Well, we're announcing the location uh, this next weekend. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. Well, yeah. the rent is gonna be high. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can. I'm like, I'm gonna afford this rent this month. And you guys are on Sunset. That's beautiful. When you uh, guys see the spot, though, you'll be like, holy fuck, no way, it's there. Yeah. It's f really dope. When did you guys start the process? Uh, about eight months ago. It's been it's been quite a process because I mean. It's everything from like the design of the logo to the design of the exterior, the interior, the menu, the pricing. Like there's just so much that goes into building a restaurant that people wouldn't get unless they're doing it, you know? You um, deep dish guy? Honestly, no. I find oh, I it. Hate okay. Dave. What? I hate no. I what about you? Hate. I like New Jersey oh. pizza. What, what, what is New Jersey pizza? That? It's just a little more crispy on the bottom. I'm a okay. big fan. That, yeah. Then I'd be a big fan of that. I'm a, I'm a thin and crispy girl myself. Mm -hmm. We went to Chicago. Well, I went to Chicago for a month. I was shooting a movie over there. Um, and one of the things that everyone tells you to do is you got to try a deep dish. And I was like, all right, I'll do it. And we went to Luminati's, which is like the spot I've heard yeah. in Chicago. 
Not the Fucking spot. Fucking gross. I don't think it's a spot. It's like, they did it wrong. It's ben. like eating it's like, a casserole. It's like it's really it's, disgusting. It's so gross, and it's just so much of absolutely everything. Yeah. And like I'm literally thinking about it, making it's making me sick. Like yeah, I'm literally yeah. like, Ugh. <laughs> yeah. That's why we're not doing that. Yeah. Why yeah. is it? Yeah. Mm. I, I don't. But a lot of people do love it. Like a lot of people. Love yeah. It in you Chicago. bring yeah, up that I you don't it. like deep dish in Chicago. They're like. Oh my God, dude. I'm like, yo. I know. I had more faith in you being like, not from Chicago, but being raised there, you know? No, I know. I just, I, I can't handle it. Oh. But, but at the pizza, we'll, we'll have two different styles. We'll have a uh, thicker crust, mm-hmm. um, and, like fluffier, like doughy, airy type dough. Nice. And then we'll have like thin crust, crispy dough. So I'll well, I'm going to try a slice at some point. So Please. look at you. <laughs> Come by whenever. 385 your way. So <laughs> Come uh, by. Um, I'm like 450 actually. <laughs> <laughs> um, what uh, what any trauma from childhood or anything, guys? Jack, I'm just I gotta get to know him <laughs> no. better. Any <laughs> trauma? Um, nah, uh, I don't. I don't you want to go? Pretty for good first? childhood, okay? Yeah, oh, I've had a pretty good upbringing. God, I think I'm, Joe. I know. First, I walked out on you, and now this. I know. Good. <laughs> I'm glad that you walked back in. Yeah, I'm here. I do want to learn how to throw a baseball. If you could teach me, I'm after free this. for the next hour. Thanks. <laughs> it actually means a lot. Um, also. Is your guys' friend David stuck in another country right now, or has he figured that out? Uh, he's uh, he's flying back today, actually, but he got everything figured out. He got his green card. Okay, she was showing me last night. Because I know she, all too well about that situation. The green card stuff. Yeah. Do you have one? Yeah, I got a green card, and I just applied for my citizenship, so I'm currently studying for the naturalization test, which is wild. I doubt... Well, I was going to say that you, but you're not American. But I was going to go one, two, three. I doubt any of you could answer the answers on that quest. Well, how many questions is it? A hundred. You have to know a hundred questions. You have to. Oh, it's, you about, it's about like American history and shit? It's about American history, politics. Hey, pull us stuff. up a question. We're going to, we're going to, wait, where's no, your I little book? Yeah, we're going to think tank this. Yeah, I have faith in us. That's what I'm saying. 1776. Hell there, yeah. And that was a date that in our history. Yep. Dude, this guy's what, got what, it. what month and day? June 4th. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I'll go with it. <laughs> so Daddy's always right. <laughs> Daddy's always right. On the naturalization right. test, they give you a hundred random, a hundred questions that you have to know, and then I think they ask you like twenty-five of them. So you have to know all hundred because you don't know which twenty-five they're gonna pick. So let me flip to a random. Give us page. Oh, but 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 all those hundred are are like for sure. Like they're it's nothing well, more. Well, I that, think right? so. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, what is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? Oh my God. What? Uh, hey, wait, wait, is it multiple choice? You have to write <laughs> no, this no, 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 I have to write it. I, it's not multiple wait, choice. shut you up. Have, no, it, you have to write it out. <laughs> yeah, oh. I know. Oh, wait, wait. I know. That's okay, crazy. okay, hear me out. Pledge allegiance to the flag. I. What's one thing you have to know? Is no, that what like, the question is? No, what is one promise. promise you make when you become a United States citizen? No, so you're wrong. Be patriotic as fuck. I don't know. To um, one one promise. You have to. I kid you not. Give up loyalty to other countries. What? So I would have oh, to give yeah. up my loyalty to Australia. Australia. What in the Game of Thrones? Well, actually, I don't. <laughs> I'm applying for dual citizenship, but I think I would still have to do that. Okay. Um, okay, okay guys, we got to get one right before we okay. move on. Yeah. What is really hard though? That's yeah. like a trick question. <laughs> What's one promise yeah. you will promise okay. to Biden? Um. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? Oh my God. March 30th. Um, hey, I, I was with you till the 30th. April 15th. March yeah. 1st? It's April the 15th. 15th. Ah, fuck. <laughs> get out. I should get know out of that. the country. Uh, Wait, you knew it? Yeah. Taxes. Hey. Okay. He's on it. Uh, okay, we got I'm worried one. about the entrepreneur. Yeah, we count in the as one. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I mean, I do my taxes, but I don't like Well, he said it. March 30th, so technically you're early, so that's. Right, right, right. Okay. I get them done actually the year before. So. <laughs> well, my dad got it right, so I'm under him with by DACA now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we're good. Uh, what are two cabinet level positions? Cabinet? Like. President like secretary of, Def- secretary of Defense? Cabinet. I don't even know what the yeah, fuck that right. means. Oh, like Secretary yeah. of Defense, Secretary of Health and Human Wait, Services. Homeland Security. Did you say that? Yeah, I said that. You wow. have, <laughs> secretary of Home, Homeland Security. Yeah, you have to like, a, I don't know, man. There's like a lot in here. Those are really hard. I know. I was um, expecting just like. Who hey, was the president the during the, the Great Depression in World War II? No Roosevelt. Way. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Oh, hell, hell yeah. I, I love World War II. It's I do too. Do you like Band of Brothers? Dude. My don't favorite. even get me fu- Wait, what's your favorite World War II movie? <laughs> okay, okay. I, dude, I, I, dude, I, I can watch, talk about this shit all day. I watch every World War II movie. Okay. I love a lot of them. Have you seen Hacksaw Ridge? <laughs> oh, that's so good. I've seen all of them. I mean, I've seen every single one. Okay, Hacksaw Ridge, I've recently watched it, so I don't know if it's my exact favorite, but I love Hacksaw oh, Ridge. Oh, it's incredible. What do you Saving mean? Private Ryan, obviously. That's my number one. Okay, I mean, I feel like that it has to be. What? Oh, okay. Dude, the opening scene for Saving Private Ryan is, I think, one of the best cinematic experiences that you can ever fucking okay, have. Quit the podcast, throw it on. <laughs> <laughs> 
We'll be right He's back. He's like, no, I will literally, I like when I have people over, I literally show them the first 20 minutes. I'm like, you have to fucking see this shit. It's no, crazy. I, my, my dad, my actual dad, not Joe, was military for 30 years and my brother went to West Point. So like they're all huge military people. Yep. So I grew up at seven watching all those movies, but I love them. I just showed you, I showed her Hacksaw Ridge. She mm -hmm. went fanatic. We watched American Sniper, not World War II. I but, never right. want to talk oh, about it. American Sniper ever again. That's Why? Have you seen it? Watch. Yeah. It's so fucking sad. I have yeah. that shit on Blu-ray. <laughs> <laughs> it, it literally eats me alive as a human being to think about that movie. Like that Hacksaw Ridge. I mean, beautiful, beautiful story. If anyone hasn't seen it. Okay, we'll get off World War II talk um, after this. But okay, any other movie suggestions? <laughs> after this. <laughs> <laughs> um, I recently saw um, Shutter Island. Oh, I need I, to rewatch that. I, I, I actually don't know if forever. I've seen that. Dude, one. it's a fucking crazy movie. What's Shutter okay. Island? It's, it's with Leo. Um, it's like he visits an Isn't island. Is that World War II? <laughs> no, 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 oh. no, no, no. <laughs> I was like, I didn't know for still on that. <laughs> no, no. He visits like a, an island that um, hospitalizes the mentally ill. Oh, wow. And it's off, like at, at the end, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah, I'm always in the mood for good movie suggestions. Yeah. So. Okay, what about Fury? That's my last. <clears throat> oh, I've seen Fury, yeah, okay. with Shia LaBeouf. That's a good one, yeah. Rat. That's not, yeah. That's not a true story, but it's a good one. Oh, it's not? I don't think so. Well, no. sorry to break your heart on that. <laughs> um, all right, anything besides World Dude, War II I could we talk see, about? I could see Ilya like, bringing someone home after a date or whatever and like showing them the first 20 minutes. Oh, dude, I would Ryan. totally do that. And totally. the girls just go to her friends and are like, yeah, it was a great date. Like, dinner was nice. But we watched Saving Private Ryan. <laughs> and like, it's weird. He only showed me the first 20 minutes and then he shut it off. <laughs> and they shut it off. Well, that, that and I ordered think, me an Uber. <laughs> do, you, do you guys have like a test movie or a test joke or test anything with like a girl where it's like, okay, if she likes this, then we might. Or we're each other. Get along. We're not discriminating. I do. Yeah. Wow. Um, you're saying like a line that we use all the time? Well, or? no, like do you have like a test that you put anyone through to be like, all right, we. Can oh, buy. is this the one? Oh, okay, okay, I get what you're saying. Um, no, I don't think. Oh, I mean, if they haven't seen, if they don't like Emperor's New Groove, oh, oh wow, fucking game over. That is a. Yeah, okay. I got a tattoo of the of the Cusco's poison. We went on a Do double really? date. Oh, we went really on a double cool. date. Oh yeah, him and the girl yeah. got the matching tattoos. Yeah, because uh, we were like going through movies <laughs> that we actually. That's funny that you asked that because we were going through movies that we liked, and at the same time we said Emperor's New Groove, and I was like, "What the fuck? No yeah. one says Emperor's what, New Groove." What number date was this? One. Uh, yeah, and you and guys you got, got a tattoo on the first date. Yeah, you, you guys still talk nope. together. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with that? Well, that's a memory. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. Do you still talk? A little bit. They're yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like happy cool. birthdays and uh, yeah. Whenever Facebook, <laughs> whenever Facebook sends you a notification, yeah. I got right. you. How, Do you have any? Oh, maybe I won't ask that. No, go ahead. No, no you go gotta ahead. ask it. You gotta ask yeah. it. Now. Do you have any b breakup rituals? Or do you have any like things that are like, okay, this is what I need to do to get myself out of this? Because I know, uh, weirdly, a lot of people ask us for advice on breakups because I was pretty open about mine on this podcast. Not saying that you need to be, but it's just my question. Um, breakup rituals. Uh, breakup rituals like, or breakup things that help you feel better. Like about ice it. cream. Like um, <laughs> I've only I've only broken up one time with uh, with a girl that I was with for, for four years, and that was when I was twenty. So it was oh. a while ago. And what was, was her name? Uh, Tori. And here she is. <laughs> <laughs> um, and how did that go? Um, I was pretty heartbroken, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty brutal. But it, it's all good because, like, I, I feel like there's there's two things that two things that make you work hard, and it's a heartbreak and a family death, and she happened to be one of them. So, are you the type to do you cut off everything completely? Don't look at stories. Don't get Instagram. Yeah. Or, or do you like? No, dude, I like cut it off, and it's really fucking hard to cut off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like you have to, to. You have to. Yeah. What? What? Not to bring up your recent breakup, but uh, <laughs> oh. but like, we're we gonna bring it up. Like, <laughs> are we talking weeks? Days? Uh, no, a few months. The only <laughs> thing that I did was I started hiking like three times a day. Oh, that's nice. That's good. Oh, yeah. so what, you hike three times a day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe has gotten in shape like a crazy amount. The no, past, listen. Like, <laughs> I, three I shook months. your hands. I saw the forearms and I was like. Just the right one. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that, that is true. <laughs> <laughs> He's a masturbation fiend. <laughs> Jared masturbates with his opposite hand. I think that's Oh, weird. dude, I do you too. Really? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hell yeah, yeah bro. Me. It's like, it, you know why I do it? Because it feels like someone else is doing it to me. <laughs> 
Really? No. I was okay. I was born left-handed. Oh, here we so go. Oh. I think it feels more natural. <laughs> and then his to little me. league coach made him bat with a right yeah, hand. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, he crushed my my MLB dreams. I was the only left-handed hitter. You know, he or and he didn't want to teach me properly, so he made me. He made right. him masturbate with his left hand, so he could. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's why I do it, but. It does. It feels better with the left hand. Right. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay. And maybe subconsciously, it's because it feels like. And it would feel a lot better it. with my right hand. So yeah. it's just something to think about. <sighs> oh, secrets. Huh? <laughs> no, I can't. come on. I mean, now that you fucking said it, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, when are you guys? <laughs> when are you guys posting this? What day? Sunday. 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 Yeah. Or we can post it. God's day. day. It, it makes sense. It's God's day. Oh God. Oh, okay. this is a. Have an undertone, I see. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. Friday night, Ilya's alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, also, just to preface this, he texted me saying, don't tell anybody about this. <laughs> that's a good friend. Should tell it to people you just and met. And that's a true friendship right there. Yep. You don't whisper in someone's ear <laughs> on a podcast. <laughs> you don't raise their I microphone under their fucking <laughs> headphones go, can you say this to them? <laughs> And then expect us to not hound yeah, this Yeah, but you, what, do you, what do you want me to say? No. Like, I'm not going to fucking tell them. Um, okay. So we bought a sex doll. Okay. Oh. Um, Can you describe it, please? Yes. It's like, it's the most realistic thing I've ever seen in my entire fuck. It's like oh, as it's close to like a human. Oh, you didn't just get like a, a balloon. balloon. You got like a, do you know what? She's a person. <laughs> yeah. She's a person. Do you know what, it's like, pretty model? much a person. What? What's, what's her name? Um, I don't think she has a name. Oh, you have a name? I have a name. She's <laughs> just an object. It's not like that. <laughs> I don't it's get, not like, like that. <laughs> I'm not like obsessed with her or anything. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, are you sure? <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking if I can come over later. Um, <laughs> Wait, no, but um, Wait, continue where this is going. Yeah. So sex doll. Gotcha. Um, we, we got it for a bit. Oh, we didn't actually get it. To, I didn't. I didn't even buy it. It wasn't. Hey, it was my, sure. My okay. 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 <laughs> it was someone else. So if you're telling me if we check your credit card statement, uh, it's not yes, gonna... I swear to God, I didn't buy. Why it. are you it was sweating so much? I'm not, bro. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyway, is it a tax write off? Um, it will be. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> um, so we bought this thing and we bring it into my room and everyone's like fucking around with it. And I'm kind of looking at it. I'm like honestly getting kind of turned on. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, everybody leaves or whatever, and it's it's uh, it's in my closet. They put it in my closet. <laughs> Don't say her. Yeah, you keep switching from it to her. What is it? Sorry, it's uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't Let's know. Call her. We're gonna ask yes, the doll. Her, she's in my closet. <laughs> gotcha. Um, and uh, I'm like, n not that night, but the night after, I I'm like really contemplating on like doing something with it. So, <laughs> the next day. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I used, I used it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm with you. Okay. Um, you used it. How? <laughs> I put it on my pet. <laughs> you put it on your pecker. Okay. You inserted yourself into an object. Oh, gotcha. my God. Dude. You manifested personification. <laughs> Joe, I fucking hate you, bro. <laughs> Joe, sorry, we love you. I'm oh sorry. my god! I'm sorry. You really had to be like, take her out of the closet and lay her down. I'm just, I'm just envisioning this. It's like the thought process of him oh staring god. at his closet and then going. At, at what point did you just exhale and, and we're like, okay? Did you feel more shame right before, or right after? Honestly, that there's no shame at all. I don't That's think, beautiful. Yeah, no, beautiful. no shame at all. But um, what what the funny part is is um. When I when I tried to do it, this is like really getting into detail. <laughs> when I tried to do it, it, it didn't work because you need like some sort of lubricant. <laughs> and so I, I, I didn't have anything. So I went downstairs and I grabbed canola. <laughs> <laughs> I was. Oh I grabbed. I God. grabbed. I grabbed canola oil. No, and, uh, the universe gave you so many opportunities to say, "Dude, don't fucking do this," and you kept going. I was so. I was so involved and deep into it. Uh, uh, How yeah. deep? I'm pretty deep. Okay, good. Um, Were you naked when you went down and grabbed it? No, no, I put my shorts on. <laughs> Just sporting an absolute Woody Buzz Lightyear. Like, Is that my friend? It wasn't. Um, so I went downstairs. I grabbed the oil. I came back up. And you know, I, I did my thing and I put the oil on the bed and I forgot that the fucking oil was on the bed. So I, I was, you know, doing my thing and the fucking oil like midway through <laughs> spilled on my bed. Ah. So now the oil, you know, canola oil is fucking yeah. like super greasy. Now it's all over my bed. So then I, I was so done. I think this is a normal thing. You know when you have canola <laughs> oil in your bed and you're having sex with an object? Okay, go ahead. So, then, so then I, I got done and I put the canola oil 
on my floor. And so I was walking around and I fucking moved my chair and the canola oil spilled on my rug. <laughs> now, and now I have canola oil all over my fucking room. And uh, it's just a disaster. I'm like, clean. I'm uh, literally two hour cleanup. My bed, my shit, <laughs> everything. I'm like, and at the end, I'm like, this is not fucking worth fucking this doll. Um, and then I put her away. I haven't touched it since. So Holy yeah. shit. Um, let's but it's, it's worth the experience. Like if anybody wants to try it, it's definitely cool. Okay, let's roll a clip. <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait. That sounds like straight out of a Judd Apatow movie. Like literally yeah, super sounds, bad. Like some like, guy trying to have sex with that, something. That has the same energy as like American Pie where yeah. like he's literally fucking the pie. Yeah, <laughs> what did the yeah. oil feel like? Was it good? Uh, it felt like lubricant. Yeah, I mean, it was just like normal. Why Why oil? You didn't have like... I don't, and I tried soap at first. You did? Oh my God. Like Dawn? 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 No, no, like just hands No, we're saving that for um, oh. Next time? the penguins. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of oil in the ocean right now. Um, <laughs> A lot of canola oil. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, uh, anyways, did you call her? You guys want to talk about something else? <laughs> yeah, Joe, let's talk about your weirdest sexual experience now. <laughs> it's got to be better. Any dolls? Oh, oh you weren't. No. Letting... Of course. No, after Off he camera. told that. Off camera. Come on, Jared. We've told it so I many times. I understand that, but please okay, let he just them opened get through it. He opened he up did, way more nothing than you. Nothing is worse than that, and you know that. All right. No, 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 oh, no, no, it's like no, worse. No, no, no. You know, yeah, yeah, chill, chill, chill. Please. It's not bad. It's normal. It's normal. Yeah, it's normal. Andy, you try Andy. to like normalize it. Like it's fine. You can fuck sex dolls. Yeah. Like really realistic ones. It's fine. <laughs> like, okay. Really realistic. <laughs> okay. I'll let you. Okay. As long as you can say. Billy, if it makes you feel better, I. <laughs> Joseph, anything over? <laughs> <laughs> nothing to top that. Okay. Um. So you're a bottom, I hear. Um, <laughs> you're a bottom. Well, that's. Be I'm glad we've all discussed this, Jared. That's big of you. And um, Jared vowed to never say that story again on a only podcast. Only because he talked about the realistic sex doll. Otherwise, and it wouldn't have happened. Fucking funny. How much was it? I think it was like two grand. Oh okay. my god! Yeah. Wait, well, how come you? I was gonna get you one too. You wanted two. <laughs> <laughs> you were actually gonna get me one. Remember I, around Valentine's Day, I said it was. Okay. Oh, but we were gonna just we were just gonna do it as a joke. Was this not as a joke? <laughs> right. was, was, yeah, so I guess I guess I would have fucked that one too. That's like a. Right. <laughs> yeah, you gotta collect at this point. That's no, no, no. I'm getting rid of it. Fuck that. Okay, we'll just send it over here. Um, <laughs> that's like a decent high school car. Two grand. That's uh, that's an investment. Yeah, it is. It's beautiful. Is you can sure. you can almost have a payment plan with that. Yeah, well, they offer financing. Okay, but. good. <laughs> <laughs> What's the interest rate? Uh, I was uh, just above 12%. Ah, twelve percent. That's where they get you. That's where they get you, Jerry. <laughs> Gotta have the cash up front. Yep. Okay, so uh, this is beautiful. I just want to know where you guys were from. <laughs> but, uh, this is not where so. What do you What do you guys do? What's um? What's um, up? I actress. Well, you can say it yourself. You got okay. Um, I'm an actress to do social media to pay the bills, but um, I came out to the U.S. originally just to like, no, I don't know. I was visiting my mom and my brother who was doing the whole like acting situation. Um, and then I started doing YouTube just as like a, everyone was kind of doing it thing and like I wanted to. And Zach used to do a bunch of editing for people in the industry like YouTube videos and that's how we connected. Um, yeah, I went to acting school in Atlanta and I knew I wanted to be in LA because I liked um, online personalities and I mm -hmm. wanted to do like traditional stuff as well. So uh, I came out here and I didn't want to work at Outback Steakhouse again. So I decided to um, just get like a lot of clientele like her and then I started mm -hmm. editing videos. Um, and then we became friends through that, which was like four years ago. Yeah. Um, and, and now uh, TikTok pays the bills for me. So family's proud. Dropped out of college. I was playing tennis. Are either of you dropouts? I am. Nice. Welcome. Yeah, yeah Welcome. I saw that. It's really fucking dope. Um, and then you finished, Joe? Yeah, I went there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what college did you go to? Montclair. It's in New Jersey. Oh, it's gotcha. a state school. Gotcha. What did you study? Filmmaking. Oh, okay. Yeah. There you go. So wait, what did you, you came out here and like, what was your dream coming out here? Like, what was like, you're like, I'm going to do this. Cause you said you didn't like New York, which is an odd, uh, an odd statement because most people prefer New York over LA. It's different when you're there filming. Cause you're like lugging equipment and you have to walk and go on the oh. subway and people are like trying to bother you, whatever. Oh, that would suck. So like, I always liked having a car and just driving to wherever I have to go. Yeah. So that was always like my speed. So that's why I came out here and then, yeah. What do your families think about what you guys do now? Like, are they just, cause it's such a different life. Are your parents still in um, Chicago? Yeah. Oh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. Are your families like, like when you tell them things that you do, cause you guys obviously do crazy things with your whole friend group. Are they like, you guys did what today? You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, 
aside from the fact that I mean specifically my family, aside from the fact they're that they're a different generation, yeah, <clears throat> they're also European, right? So yeah. like it's a completely like new thing for them. But my dad, my dad loves it. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. He like lives through me. It's like really, really fucking cool because he used to do that shit when he was young. You know? Oh, that's cool. Uh, my mom, I don't know what she thinks about, it, but she when when I do stupid shit, she always calls me out on it. Um, but aside from that, they're pretty cool with it. Wow. I always yeah. get calls from my grandparents being like, what the f did you do? And I'm like, yeah. sorry about that. That was a good bleep. I, so I, I know. I was like, wondering too. I was like, did you do that? <laughs> yeah. I was very <laughs> on the spot. I feel like I've gotten pretty used to it. I used to cuss pretty much every second, every second word on this podcast. And it was causing hours of editing for him. What, <laughs> what about you, Joe? What does your family think of <clears throat> What you do? The antics. They think it's nuts. I mean, yeah. it's really fun. My mom's a teacher. She, her kids think it's cool too. His mom's so. a teacher. Oh, what does she teach? Um, first grade or third grade? Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Very really? Cool. Yeah, special ed. I don't know. That. Mm -hmm. Did you guys have any point um, to go off like them thinking it's crazy, where you kind of looked around and you're like, "What is my life? Like, is it was there any like singular moment? Like, what? Okay, what is going on? I think every day. Yeah. I think what we do is fucking insane. Yeah. I think we're all so blessed and like. I don't know the life that we. I always tell Joe, I'm like, dude, this is crazy. Yeah, like this is fucking like no one gets to do this shit. Yeah, and like we have so much fun with it, and like we just live life. And I think it's so unique. That's why I really appreciate about like creators like yourselves, because I think we all came from not suburbish type, but not this lifestyle, not LA, and like we got to have somewhat normal upbringing, and then we were right, right, right. It wasn't like a pageant mom type. You weren't raised in this. Yeah, yeah. So now yeah. we're like. You, more, it makes you appreciate it. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what yeah. I'm going to say. More appreciative. And then you're just like, wow, this is just such a contrast from where I've been. and really humbles you a little bit. So I don't know. I always thought that was cool. Um, I always and, think it's uh, weird that we spend our Tuesday nights at, like I ran into you uh, at the, the breakfast the club, breakfast the club breakfast opening, club yeah. opening or whatever. I think that's so weird that that's what we did on a Tuesday night. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I right? swear to God. Yeah, I was like, I was, How like, the f I was like, it's so weird. Like she's out on a Tuesday night at 10 o'clock mm -hmm. while like everybody else in the world is fucking going to bed, right. getting ready for work and the like, next day, you know? Mario Lopez, Paul Abdul were there. Paul Abdul and I was, was like, there. That was pretty cool. It's very yeah. weird just like the people we interact with now that everyone else sees on TV you never think you get to. Because you guys, you guys all had pretty <laughs> normal upbringings until you came to LA. I was, I came over here when I was like, you know, 13, 12 or 13. Um, and fell into the industry. So it's like very, very different because I went through high school and school doing what I do now, which mm. was a really, really weird contrast. So I always like wonder what, how I would have been as a person if I had gotten like high school normalcy and things like that. And then, but then I also think about like, holy shit, like any high school student would be dying to do what I do at like Tuesday at 10 p.m. just at right. this cool opening <clears throat> with a bunch of people that they look up to. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's weird For to sure. think about things like Here, Jared, that. I'm going to airdrop you. Mm -hmm. What are you sending me? <clears throat> um, it's a picture of uh, my dad, Joseph. Oh, you want to show? Do I look like him? Uh, mm, look, uh, no. You want a hug? Uh, uh, yeah. Later. We'll oh, later. Late. oh, or now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe, this is your, your next Instagram post. Um, you're just going to Photoshop your face onto It's onto my favorite Zach's thing set. to do. I bet Dude, you it's the you photo. Are is it the, the photo king of, of Photoshop. <laughs> I have a few of my favorites that I, I want to I show on here. I wanted to know your best memory from this night, though. I tried to do a little <laughs> digging and a little... A little <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. That's funny. <laughs> That's a uh, high school prom. Holy shit. Yeah. I love the hair. I Thanks. didn't know you were the lead singer of We the Kings. <laughs> <laughs> All time low. <laughs> God what, damn. What, what year was that? Like 2000 and... 2020. Right. 2020. <laughs> this was uh, last year. 2008. You're like a little rock star. It looks yeah. like 2008. Ooh, oh. The hand in the pocket. You know he practiced that in the mirror. <laughs> and the, the, they told me what to do. <laughs> the three piece suit. I love every part of this. Okay. So is this where like the crazy hair started? Like... Um, yeah, kind of. Okay. I, th I think because I was never allowed to dye it in middle school. So once I got old enough to kind of just go do it, I stuck. I mean, Elliot, we we're just talking about it recently because yeah. I still want a lip ring. I never got one. You're going to get a lip ring? I feel like you Not could rock a lip ring. Oh, okay. I think so too. I really honestly feel like I don't think a lot of people could rock the whole lip ring stitch, but I actually kind of think you could. Yeah, the little one down here. We should get them together. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. What? Okay. Do you have any memories from this night? Um, someone got stabbed ah, the next holy day. What? Shit. Like, yeah. like, like stabbed in the stomach or like fucking, I wasn't there, but someone got stabbed with a knife <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> I don't know what part of that. Nice. Yeah. Did you guys enjoy your high school experiences? Loved it. Yeah, it was really dope. Yeah. I, I Thanks, constantly, guys, I'm glad you had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You'll, 
you could still go, honestly. I, mean, <laughs> I do. I sometimes cry at night about it. Wait, how old are you? 19. Oh, so you just finished. Well, I f- actually finished what I finished when I was in the 10th grade. Wait. I I skipped a year and then I tested out. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. So you got your high school diploma in 10th grade? Pretty much. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. But I didn't get like a prom. I didn't get homecoming. I didn't get to go to like school games. I, I never went to a school game. I don't know. Are but you like, serious? Uh, but, yeah, not one. But to have Come the, like, to have you the, saw the, hair. the that option would have yeah. been nice. <laughs> I was at the mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're at the mall with topic. like right when Silly Bands came out and you're like, oh my God, Silly <laughs> Bands. <laughs> did you want to play that bad people thing? Oh yeah, we will in a little bit. Wait, okay. I did want to. Oh, is that a game? Yeah. Yeah. I, oh, I, I, I've been trying to play that game for months. Dude, we're, we're going to play it. Yeah, we're going to play it. What? Yeah. I saw it Fuck on, yeah. <laughs> I saw it on TikTok and I just ordered it before you guys came because like, what if we have anything to talk about? I do have one question. Um, uh, Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I I was I was there. I used to work there. I used to be the the kitchen chef. I would make all the pizzas. You used to work at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, How great job with the pizzas. There? The pizzas are yeah, great. Pizzas <laughs> are great. Um, and I, I used to be the mouse. I mean, every everybody was a mouse. You got to rotate. So, um, was I, it exciting to be the mouse, or did you not want to be the mouse? No, I mean, I liked my uh, uncle I, could never be the mouse. <laughs> <laughs> Your uncle? Yeah, he's, he's not allowed with. He's on a registry. Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Actually. Okay. <laughs> 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 we watched this. Um, that's funny, but yeah, no, it was, it was a, uh, it was a good time. I like how you said you got to be the mouse. Like it was a privilege. Like it was an honor. <laughs> no, actually I hated, be, I hated being the mouse. Um, is, is it, it true? Must be sweaty under is there it true that gross. you bled on pizzas? Um, okay. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what? Not, you don't know this. I didn't know you were bleeding on the pizzas. And I mean, not on kids. fucking that's purpose. Not sauce. on purpose. No, I understand that, <laughs> but. Um, yeah. So one day, uh, I was cutting, I was cutting pizzas and we just got a brand new, like knife in that you cut the pieces with and I cut my finger and I didn't realize I cut my finger until like five <laughs> minutes after I cut it and I'm looking down and there's like blood all over the blade <gasps> and oh, all over no. my head and I'm like I'm like 30 pizzas deep already so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like fuck I'm I can't tell my manager because I don't know where the fuck all these pieces went you know <laughs> so I um this is so bad no. It's actually not that bad because my blood is clean. Like it's not a big deal. It yeah, blends yeah. in with the sauce. You would never know. I mean, oh my God. <laughs> so I got paper towels. I fucking wrapped my finger in. You know that was that. And then just went about your business. Yeah. Uh, did you hear about the the oh my God. conspiracy theory that they would take the pizzas off the the tray yeah, and yeah, then put yeah. it back in order? Did you ever experience that? No, 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 no. Okay, no, you would no, just no, bleed no, on it and no, give it to yeah. children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's fine. He did worse. the other conspiracy theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Some might say worse, and some might. Uh, I, I was a fucking. I was like seventeen, sixteen. I I don't know. I I didn't know better. I guess. <laughs> I, I, I just know better than to bleed on pizzas. I mean, I don't mean to bring this up, but Edward Cullen was sixteen, and he seventeen, and he knew what to do with better. blood and stuff. So I feel like you should have known. Right. Um, but right. he was seventeen for like a hundred years. I was gonna say. Can but, I ask a question? Yeah, they're friendship and bracelets. It, uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, this really determines people for me. What team are you on, Jacob or Edward? Oh my God. I don't know the difference. Neither do I. <laughs> so I can't. Should we leave? I, no, I mean, yeah. uh, please. I can leave with you guys. You can, you can leave. So. Are you a big, uh, is it Twilight? Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> is that Twilight? <laughs> you can please. Wait, 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 which one's Jacob? Jacob's the, the werewolf. Aren't they both werewolves? That's Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> you know where the door is. You walked in here. Wait, hold on, hold on. What, 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 which Jacob. one? Which one is the, is the better looking one? I guess. Jacob. Jacob's the better. Looking well, okay. Well, unbiased. Mm, Jacob's the better. <laughs> one. Is that Taylor? Yeah. Yeah, Taylor. Oh, right? oh, yeah. Then. Uh, oh, actually, no. What? Not Taylor. But, yeah, and you know why? Because I recently saw. Um, what the fuck? What movie was he in? Was he in Tenant? I don't Shark know. Boy and Lava Girl. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, he wasn't Shark Boy and Lava Robert Girl. Robert Pat- Pat- Patterson? Pat- Patterson? Yeah. Patterson? Oh, yeah. He, he was, was in Tenet. Tenet. Yeah. And he looked really good in Tenet. And I think that's why. Mm. But, but maybe back in the day, Taylor. Taylor also doesn't, hasn't done much, I don't think. Since he hasn't then. done much mm. since then. No. Yeah. That's a good call. That's I'm still, a good call. I only think of them as Jacob really. and uh, Edward. So I'm 100% Team Jacob. Except it, if you really go and rewatch those movies, I mean, coming from a, a teenage girl that like watched them when they were coming out, so manipulative. You're like, wow, this makes sense that I was in so many toxic relationships. Like uh, literally, I'm like, oh, this is where I got it all from. Okay, wait, let's talk about the time where you bet thirty one thousand dollars in Vegas. Yeah, oh, should man. we? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wait, guessing you guys lost what? it. <laughs> yeah, well, actually, here's what happened. Uh, Joe and I have been to Vegas together two times, and the first time that we went, we were sitting at dinner. I was like, let's bet our bank account, our podcast bank account. At the time. <laughs> 
we only had like uh, I think like thirty one hundred dollars in or something like that. I'm like, let's let's just let's do green since it's like not a huge amount of money. And he's like, now fuck that, do black or red. So then I go to the table. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a different side of the story. I said, do whatever you want. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you were pretty specific on me doing black or red, and I was begging you to do green. I was like, and I even said, I, I said, stormed what off. did I say? I stormed what off. did I say? I said double zero green. Did I not? Did I not? That is what you said. But That's what I, I said. Okay, whatever. Moving on. <laughs> um, I went to the table. I I didn't even go with him because he was too scared. He, <laughs> I he, walked he, away. Yeah, he walked away. And so I went to the table. I put it on. Uh, I put it on black. And it fucking doesn't land black. And I, in my head, I'm like, fucking landed red. But then I look up and it's fucking blinking double zero green, <laughs> which means, which means that I would have won $108,000. What the? F no. Isn't that oh, fucking that's insane? So depressing. And how did you feel, Joe? <laughs> I was so far. Dude, away. I was so pissed off, dude. I was, I went up to the room. And we, like, we started recording the podcast right away. And I was so mad. Like, I was screaming. And we had, like, security come up to the room because I was like, they yeah. checked to see if he was hitting me. Yeah. Dude, you should have. Dude, we Actually, had, like, seven, like, seven security guards that came up to the room. Yeah. Uh, but, but this story, um, kind of the same, the same thing. I was like, Joe, let's bet the bank account. <laughs> it was a little higher this time. A little higher this time. Yeah. Um and uh, we did just that and we we lost. It was nice. so unfulfilling. So yeah, I mean, but, but the thing is, well, yeah, if you win, it's fucking insane. We, we were gonna get it would have been the best. So next time we're gonna come back with double. And we we were gonna get win. Rolexes. We were gonna have like a yeah, night. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was gonna be night. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah that's what, what's the go. what's the ratio on winning and losing within all the friend group? Um, well, I'm like 0 and 3. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Uh, you didn't know that going. You're like, I trust you. I've seen, but, 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 I've seen the vids. But we went with David, and he's pretty lucky. Like, he, he, I think he's only lost like one time aside from us, and he's bet like 10 times. Um, and yeah, I, we just have to go back and do it again. Definitely. Well, we'll be fine. Right. That's the moral of the story. Yeah. Fourth time's a charm. Listen, I'm from, I'm from Vegas, so I've got that, that hometown luck, and my mom. Definitely does. So I'm gonna take. I'm, I'm not gonna come because I'm just. I'm gonna be. Busy. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna Facetime you while we're doing no, it. No, no, no. You're gonna take my mom with you. Oh, great. Okay, okay. <laughs> but no funny business, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I think we'll I know would, how it goes. I think I would live a happy life to see Miss Gina interact with that whole situation. Oh yeah, she's very religious and Christian. Super religious. And, um, very religious. It'd be very funny. Still Anyone else here out. been through divorce? Not um, been. Th oh, Jared. No. Nice. No. Sorry. No. No. Parents no. still together. That's beautiful. <laughs> God, I wish we shouldn't have them on. <laughs> I mean, my parents couldn't even get married until a few years ago. So he's two, he's test tube baby. Both of his moms. He's got moms. I have two moms. You're so a test tube baby. I'm a test tube baby. Oh, that's sick. The only name I know my father by it's is CB270. CB270. Oh wow. Well, do you have the option to find out? I learned recently that they passed something uh, <laughs> that now I do. Like now I have access. Like I, I have to pay like 150 bucks, but now I can like not find, worth it. <laughs> but now I can find. Um, like baby pictures of my dad and like a uh, current photo if there is one and like really? name and stuff. Yeah. Would you want to? I kind of want to, like, I don't care about meeting him. Like he's never been in my life, you know, but I would love to see what he looks like. That, Just that curious. Would be Dude, imagine getting him on the podcast. Whoa. Wow, that would be wild. Be like, so you're my, my What's up, dad? dad. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that would be wild. How do they have his baby photos? He had to submit it when? I think so. Uh, like, so when my mom went, she just got like, <laughs> they literally had like a catalog of like, you know, like a survey that the guys fill out and um, they didn't have any pictures. They just had descriptions. So he, like my dad was like six to 170 white fuck? European, crazy. you know, and um, the only reason she picked them, she's going between him and someone else. And the nurse came up and she was like, she's like, I'm not supposed to do this, but like CB 270, we love when he comes in, like he's an absolute sweetheart. And I was like, <laughs> that got was some swimmers on him too. I <laughs> got some swimmers exactly but that was like that was the only reason she picked him but she like couldn't see him couldn't do anything you know wow that's insane right yeah you should have a mom that'd be fucking nuts i know that, that would be, be that would be a lot of your fun. moms are not picking some guy that was just like five nine like oh five, god I would like, be i'm glad so she was mad. like he's gotta be like six two i'd go for the tallest <laughs> hey, hey. five five seven guys are cool too i'm five eight joe we're the same height yeah, Short king. So. No, no, yeah. no. Sorry, so it'll be a fair race. You're like, five seven. You're oh, we will be a fair race. Yeah. Oh, I still yeah, the money's there. Calm down, guys. <laughs> we can bet on it like horses. <laughs> oh, I did not think that you were <laughs> why that, that, that tall. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Wait, wait, wait. What the fuck you was just, that? You give off six three energy. Oh, thank you. Which is a good thing. That yeah. is a good thing. Thank you. God, you just disrespect. He's sorry. our guest here. Say so you're sorry. So, sorry. Look him in the eyes. It's all good. 
I apologize. There we go. You guys friends now? What's bad people? Um, we don't know. We just, we literally just got it today. Oh, okay. I don't know it either. I've been trying to play it for a while. Have you played Red Wait, Flags? Played Never. Okay. Oh my God. If this one sucks, then maybe we'll try that one. I played Guess Who. That's a good one. <laughs> Guess Who. Guess who? Jared does that, but he has like pictures from um, the sperm bank. He's like, which one could be my dad? <laughs> Do you ever win and find out who it is? What? Do you ever win and find out who it is? No, not yet. Dang. I've been playing that game for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> I have the worst luck. What an amount of money to hold. It was cool walking through the casino with that. How was it walking out? It didn't even work. <laughs> yeah. It's we walking out was very light. Where were you walking. at the strip club that night? I was at the strip, strip club every night. <laughs> so, yeah. That was the worst week. I've never spent so much money. Dude, oh my God. I looked at my bank statement after um after we came back. I almost had a went, fucking what the fuck? I almost had a panic. One night, I'm not joking, it was fucked up. One night, seven grand at the strip club. I don't even know how the fuck that's possible. Seven thousand dollars at a strip club. Yes, I swear to God. I was like, what were you Venmoing? You, you had, brought all that? You had a seven thousand dollar smile on your face every time I see saw you walk back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You went, yeah. What even sense. gets you? St- what does seven thousand get you? Honestly, not, you can tell him nothing. Honestly, yeah, like, not much. Yeah, it doesn't really give you much. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna like. Just, was it alcohol that racked up that tab? Yeah, or like, it was. Yeah, alcohol was. I think I bought like a three thousand dollar bottle. You have to buy a what? bottle. Yeah. What the fuck did you buy? Some really expensive champagne that I didn't even drink because I don't fucking drink champagne. <laughs> did she upcharge you, or were you I trying to know. impress her? I don't know, dude. I don't remember. I was. I don't want to fucking think about that. You still <laughs> talk to her? Yeah, every day. <laughs> was she the doll? And here she is. Huh? <laughs> was she the doll? Damn, you got my ex- ex-girlfriend and the stripper here? Yeah. Wow. I mean, I impressive. am always scared that you're going to do that one day, actually. All right. So most likely to be uh, enjoyed dominated in the bedroom out of you two. Ilya. And why? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa, whoa. <laughs> it, it, enjoy being dominated? Yeah. Oh, fuck no, not me. It's I definitely think, Joe. I thought no, we, no, we no, went no. over definitely that Joe was Joe. the bottom. Yes, Joe is definitely the bottom. That was no, a- are you again? <laughs> Joe, I, I am not the bottom. Are you fucking out of your Dude. mind? Okay, doll boy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I fucked the doll does not mean I'm a bottom, okay? <laughs> it is the doll that, that made me guess you. I'm, I know. I'm not... I don't. I wouldn't like to be dominated, but I think that you would. Like, would you take it in the ass? Or like, if a girl... No, too far. I, I will say, I did a dominatrix video once, and it was really cool. Like, I was like, they wrapped you up, and you just have, like... You couldn't see oh. anything. It was really cool just laying there, like... You were, like, in, like, a black hole. It was nuts. Well, Whoa. just based on that answer, we're going to go with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, but it was just for a video, right? Just for a video. Okay, good. Okay. Um, if is it posted? No. <laughs> I've seen it. Yeah. I've okay. Seen it. If you guys okay. both dressed up as the opposite sex, who would look the most believable? I mean, we did see Joe. Yeah, probably me. Shopped as Natalie. So. That was an easy one. It's it's two O Joe. What, okay. what game is this? Red flags? No, this is bad people. Oh. But it's harder because we got to like pass cards and we're so far away. So we'll have to play it some other time. Um, most likely to fall for a period scheme. A period? Yeah, 100%. A pyramid Ilya. scheme? Ilya. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I right wrong. Period. Yeah, yeah, um, I, I, I have twice, actually. <laughs> you really? Yeah. yeah. yeah actually? Well, well, it's because like people like come to you and they promise you like you'll make a lot of money and you'll do this. And like I'm, I'm like, fuck yeah, let's go. And, Textbook? Did, um, you, did you lose a lot of money on it? Uh, no, no, I, I, I made my money back, but I didn't make any money. Sorry about that. It's Sorry. okay. It was okay. a long time ago. <laughs> Most likely to have given or received a golden shower. What? I don't know what this What's game the, is. Ew, but. that's disgusting. Um, <laughs> why do you have a story for everything? Oh, yeah. I've never given a golden <laughs> shower. <laughs> I heard you, you just deny yeah, saying you got it. <laughs> I've never gotten or, or done a golden shower. But, Joe? Okay. You, no. No, that's. Okay, if a big fire broke out right now, who would push everyone out of the way to get out first? Probably me. Okay. Yeah, probably you. <laughs> <laughs> why do Why do you think that is? Ilya's a little more selfless. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. That's I, I like that you can recognize that. Yeah. <laughs> you You push out and out of the way, and you're like, Ilya, take care of it. <laughs> I'm out, bro. You got it, right? You got everybody in the building? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got a joke. All right, we got three three more. These are actually good because we don't have to prep questions. Yeah, no. Um, who is the worst person to call for relationship advice? Definitely me. Why is that? Why? Because I only have one answer. What's that? Let him go. <laughs> don't, oh, be, okay. don't be in a relationship. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You're not a relationship guy? Hello? Re- you're not a relationship guy? <laughs> no. Um, no, I mean, I respect it. I just, uh, it's not for me. It's just not think. your thing? Yeah. Wish I would have known that before I tried to wingman you the other night. 
You know what I mean? It's okay. <laughs> oh, you tried wingmanning him at the place? It's the first time I met him. I, yeah. I, well, yeah. The girl next to me um, was not having, was having guy issues. She's been my, been my friend. So I was like trying to steer in the direction of what seems like a stand up guy. I didn't know the doll thing before that, but, um, <laughs> but it didn't work out. You see what you do? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I went into his room yesterday because I was showing my friends. Um, do you guys live together, by the way? No. no. Okay. I was showing them his room because it's like pan and pink for a video. And oh, shit. as soon as you open the door, the doll is just sitting there like oh. on the floor. And she looks like she had a night. She's like. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you gave it to her good, didn't you? I like that. Yeah. <laughs> he said, he said, yeah. He's never talking to us again. All right. Most likely to silently judge people. Um, Not very judgmental people. Yeah, I don't think either of us. I don't think we judge. Okay, who would uh, tattoo a teardrop on their face for the least amount of money? Neither. I mean, but who would be a less? You got Joe's name on your ass, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. You You got Joe's name on your ass. Yeah, but face is a little bit different, though. That is true. We both value our faces, I think, too much. Yeah. That's that's now that's where the friendship starts. We asked this question in our friend group, and Jared immediately said it was him, and we both agreed. Well, they're both actors, okay? Like I make music, so it doesn't really like it would it add to it. It wouldn't affect Dude, me if people as thought you killed people? Would. Yeah, it would add. Yeah, exactly. I'll Thank give you $20. You. <laughs> <laughs> I can match that. You can match that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, 40 bucks. That's is 40 bucks. I'll 40 match bucks it too. Is, that's 60. 60, that's 60 bucks. I'll double it, 120. Holy <laughs> shit, let's go. <laughs> All right, here. We'll play a little bit of we'll, this. Yeah, guys... we'll play Red Flags. This is our signature right here. Oh, hell yeah. How do you play? Here, I'll, I'll tell you after I kind of get. You're going to pull two white cards. So we're going to go around the room. So like, let's say we're going to start by building you a girlfriend, right? We're going to, each person is going to pull two white cards and they're good attributes, right? So one of them is going to be like, um, is super driven and uh, like has a big bank account or something, right? So rich and driven. And then we each all pull a red card as well, which is a bad attribute. And it does something like, you know, kills cats, huh. you know? And so then you have to pick out of all of us, which one is, oh, I got mine already. Oh, thank you. you. Yeah. Um, so then you <laughs> have to pick which one is the least, uh, the least bad out of all of those. And we'll just go around the room. Oh yeah. So basically, like you said, you're just picking who you date out of all these people. So Jared, like to start it off, we'll create a date for you. So I'm gonna grab two white cards just off this thing and one red card. All right, so Jared, this girl um, is a personal chef, a brain surgeon, um, but she blames the economy on your race. On white people? Well, if that's what you are. <laughs> um, I mean, that's kind of accurate. <laughs> okay, well, well, then she can cook you food. So it's not a bad start for me. Okay, yeah, not a bad start. All right, you wanna give yours? We'll go this way. Spontaneous and fun, loves to cuddle. Okay. Let's get a little closer to the. Yells fuck you to every baby they see. (laughs) (laughs) That's very funny. Ilya. Okay. I got believes you are the most attractive person they've ever seen. That's nice. That's a good card. And she's a Marine. Okay. Okay. Nice. Wasn't expecting the Marine. But (laughs) she masturbates in public. (laughs) (laughs) And that's that's a girl. That's actually not terrible. (laughs) All right, so she's a great conversationalist. Okay, perfect. Plus, she gives billions to your favorite charity. Wow. Oh my God, that's amazing. She's got billions to give away. I know. But she calls your mom a cunt. <laughs> oh, can't have Which that. Which one? Which one? Exactly. <laughs> Damn. Um, I guess the only one that... Oh, she gives billions to charities. My mom can suck it up for that. <laughs> we'll, we'll end world hunger for that. <laughs> so you're picking that one? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'll I'll do something. You know, I'll pick the girl that gives billions to charity. All right, Joseph wins. All right, now now we're picking it for you. This oh, is a perfect date. All right, Jerry, you go first. All right, this girl, um, volunteers for dog shelters. Sick. Okay. Uh, and lives on a hundred beachfront acres. Oh my god, I love the ocean. Okay. Um, shits out of their mouth. Oh <laughs> god. <laughs> Dirty. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I thought it was supposed to be realistic. Um, no. Or is it just like whatever? Just, no, the the, the first whatever. two are, and the red one's supposed to make them a terrible. So it's like the lesser of all the evils. All right. Always knows how to stop you from crying. Does that happen a lot? Some, no. Yeah. Well, they know how to stop it. <laughs> um, has all the same hobbies as you. Hiking. I love hiking. And they masturbate exclusively to Kid Rock. So <laughs> exclusively? <laughs> exclusively. Oh, that's not fun. <laughs> but it could be. I mean, she's better right now. I don't want to. 
Oh, shit. you don't want shits out of their mouth? I can't kiss her. <laughs> yes, okay. you can. It's true. It's true. Fiercely loyal. Love that. I'm so insecure. Um, is a porn star. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, You're on a good star. You know what this is? I like how he goes, he goes, I'm so insecure. Porn star. Let's go. She <laughs> fucks other people for a living. But she's fiercely oh, loyal. At least you know that she's cheating on you like on camera. That's true. That's true. Well, how the fuck is she loyal? This one doesn't seem bad. Uh, keeps the severed heads of all their exes in a fancy glass display case. Well, so just never, never break be up with, with her. her. Right. Uh, she does porn though. You heard that. <laughs> She, that's an art. She's, she's an loyal. actress, technically. <coughs> yeah, she's an artist. She's an artist. Yeah, probably her. Okay, oh, we got wait, one more. We got <laughs> Ilya. We got <laughs> okay, so this solves one of your problems. Uh, makes you feel secure. Oh, yes. and always makes time for you. Oh, so sweet. You've had Beautiful. time before. Unfortunately, she has a butthole for a mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <similar>. <laughs> you guys, this is spit that's sisters. Yeah. <laughs> Those who are absolute no's. No, I'm definitely going for the porn star. No. Nice. Okay, nice. Ilya, this is for you. Oh um, Joe, you go first. Uh, she's a lawyer. So sure. That's kind of cool. Great. Oh, and she's a, also a yoga instructor. Nice. Wow, multifaceted. Nice. Flexible. Here's that grand wizard card. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, this one's nothing. Or you can't pick and choose. You just got to tell me what no, it this is. This one's empty. Oh, oh. Oh, wow. Ooh. Is your mom <laughs> on Facebook? Um, No. Oh, good. She posts all of your sex tapes to Facebook. Oh, what about uh, what about what? everyone else in the world? <laughs> <laughs> my mom is the least of my worries. She's seen me naked, <laughs> so uh, okay, not bad. Okay, um, Jared, huh? Okay, I think I think I just reversed. No, I did. Yeah, I don't know what order we're going it, in now, yeah. but um, their farts smell like flowers. So I don't know if that that's nice. That's nice. <laughs> nice I, mean, I guess um, is a spin instructor. So you know, nice healthy works out. Um, is allergic to your orgasms. Ooh. Oof. Like so, she would sneeze every time. I would. Like, I assume it's probably like an EpiPen situation. Like you. Oh, like, like in the neck. Yeah. You can, oh, <laughs> fuck. Okay. Can't have it. It's that. a life or death situation. Every time. <laughs> so the Facebook she, she's porn? got a nut allergy. Oh, for now the Facebook. Yeah. That's funny. Okay. This, it, that was funny. This, and it needed to be pre more appreciated. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Say it, say it again. I said she has a nut allergy. Ah, Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's pretty good. This sweet darling of a girl um, has front row tickets to every concert. Mm -hmm. Do you like music? Also is president, so possibly Joe Biden. Um, <laughs> and always <laughs> drinks a bottle of wine before driving. Oh, God. <laughs> so, bottle? It sounds boring. Just one, it's just one she bottle. She sounds boring. <laughs> the president and um, gets DUIs. God, all right. So, um, can get you both into literally anywhere. That's a good card. That's a pretty good card. Anywhere. I like that. Um, best sex ever. Okay. I mean her. What's the bad thing? It doesn't matter, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Takes you to a dog fight on the first date. Ooh, uh, I do love dogs. But, <laughs> well, <laughs> but it's the best sex ever. Yeah. <laughs> so right after we anywhere. watch a dog fight, we have the best sex ever. At least you get like a picture with Michael Vick, so that'd be cool. Yeah, true. Oh, my God. Um, <laughs> Michael Vick. I haven't heard that name in a fucking while. Okay. Uh, who, okay, Indy. You ready to find true love? I am. Um, I don't know who goes. You go. You I'll go. go. Um, same favorite books. I don't know if you know how to read, but has the oh, hottest no. friends. That's even worse. Um, it wasn't that one. I used that one. This is the worst two cards. Okay, they collect. They collect used tampons. Oh, what? Mine? Maybe. <laughs> you got a good flow. Zach. Okay. No. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. <laughs> Your person can fuck off. Well, that makes me insecure. All right. Well, you know who's not going to make you insecure. A guy that's completely blind to all your fault flaws. Wow. So he's not going to help you grow as a person, but <laughs> <laughs> but you won't be judged really. Um, can get you a table at any five star restaurant, any time, any place. Wow. wow. So well, that's nice. Um, he did murder your family. Oh, you know? shit. Oh, <laughs> so Joe. that kind of puts a damper. What the fuck? Do you like Ratatouille or not? <laughs> okay. Do you like Cowboys? Because this guy's a rodeo champion. <gasps> oh, my God. Love Cowboys. Then you're going to love him. <laughs> he can multiply himself. Wow. And just got taken to the next level. <laughs> and he jerks off to pictures of your family. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? He loves. He likes your family. Yeah. Nice. Don't you want him to be close to your parents? <laughs> Come on. At least he didn't murder them. You know. There's there that. we go. <laughs> <laughs> Old collect tampon doesn't seem so bad, does it? <laughs> All right. Ilya, let's hear your your guy for her. 
Uh, okay, so this dude is a vampire. <gasps> dot, dot, nice. Dot, 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 the sexy kind. Nice. Okay. All right. Loves children. Okay. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, again, <laughs> everything that they uh, touch turns to uh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like all yeah. old. Looks like old what, was your, what was your guy again? Uh, collects used tampons. Old red strings looking pretty good, huh? I think I'm gonna go with Radiant. What? <laughs> he just jerks but off to your family. He jerks off to your family. It's better than murdering them. Is it them. in his private time? <laughs> I feel like not that bad. Hey, is it in his private time? No. Oh, well. <laughs> so I know about it? No, no, you're watching. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, that's. He we explicitly gotta have, tells you when he's going to do it and oh. who he's going to do it. Well, that doesn't say that on the card. We're gonna have to unpack this later. That is <laughs> wild. Okay, <laughs> me, last one, and then. Uh, I hate. Tampons and used ones. So. Okay, but you don't mind someone touching themselves to your father. Ugh. That's well, fine. I'm not thinking. I don't, well, I don't know is. about it. I'm blind to it. Go ahead. All right. Uh, this girl, Zach, has the same favorite movies. Okay. Okay. And she was on the news recently for rescuing a kitten. Nice. So she's a good person. I hate cats. Um, I already had that one uh, last week. Uh, or, wait. No, we didn't have this one. Every time you have an orgasm with okay. them, you lose one year of your life. <sighs> oh. So. Okay. How much do I value my life though, Jerry? Exactly. That could help me. <laughs> so. <laughs> Dude, I get a bus nut and die? Sign me up. <laughs> Joe? Um, she's really into wine. Nice. It's really cool. <laughs> really <laughs> nice, actually. And she knows all the words to your favorite children's TV theme songs. Cool. Pretty cool. cool. Yeah. yeah. So she's just like a girl. <laughs> but when she comes, she ejaculates bees. Oh, oh my God. God, bro. Well, I could never, uh, we wouldn't have any bees. I'm, I'm not performing. <laughs> no problem. No, then. no. Leaving her unsatisfied every time, just like the regular. Over to you. <laughs> oh. um, okay. So this girl uh, is a millionaire. That is good. Not bad. And she has a twin. Wow. So if you ever get sick of her. I don't know if that's how that works, but yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, the problem is that she believes the best solution to overpopulation is killing everyone over the age of 25, including me. So you have to really think about that. I'm over 25, too. Yeah. You're over 25. I'm 18. You're I'm still, still here. got two years. Okay. I'm good. So we're you dead. say I'm 18. So I'm, de I'm essentially dead? <laughs> essentially, you're dead, and I'm also dead. But she believes in the idea. She's not really executing it yet. Not right. yet. Yeah, but eventually she might have like a Hitler complex. Uh, well, I'm gonna oh weigh, well, I'm going to weigh my options here. You really don't like B-Girl? Listen, I do like B girl. I just I gotta listen to everybody else. Okay. All right. <clears throat> we gotta watch a B movie. It just and then it's just <laughs> <laughs> Okay. The four D experience. Is a Ooh. famous <laughs> <laughs> The four B experience. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Is a famous movie star. Oh, I've seen movies. Can fly. Love oh, that. That's sick as fuck. <laughs> Yo. Literally will only talk about putting things in your butt. Oh wow. That's not that bad. No, but does no, she no. act on it? It doesn't say that. Doesn't say she acts on it. What so. was okay, we got bees. What was yours? Um, you lose a year of your life every time you <laughs> orgasm. I can't do that. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna go with bees. It would just be such what? an experience. Okay, it would be such an experience. And then my boy's out here. He's like, "We're just she having the bedroom." Fly. I'm like, "This just happened." You're telling me she can fly. <laughs> yeah, and I could get enough bees where I could fly. <laughs> Can you imagine him walking out of the bedroom and a bunch of bees come out with him? And like, oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you guys just, All oh, right, you man. see the bees. Uh, <laughs> save so much money, honey. <laughs> hey, honey, I'm home. It's like a whole new meaning. Anyway, um, well, that was fun. That was fun. Do we right. have, What's our time at? I mean, we can probably wrap it up now. Okay. Do you guys have any other dying things you'd like to spread to the world before we- Any other sex doll stories? You want to tell them the other doll story? Wait, no, there's multiple there's doll no, stories? No, no more doll stories. <laughs> that was the only one I had. <laughs> Well, uh, we really appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you. I had a lot of fun. Um, this was great. Uh, Jared, you want to say nice yes. things to the people? I had a blast as there well. There we go. Everyone go listen to their podcast, Lightweights. Lightweights. Is it not? Okay, where can you find it? Um, Spotify and Apple. Do you guys do a uh, oh, visual at all? <laughs> no, so we're actually starting video uh, next week. Oh, yeah, nice. I got it. Okay, okay, awesome. yeah, yeah. Nice, nice. Sorry. Nice. He, he's just learning. It's okay. You he's can just new. break everything in here. It's not a, good, <laughs> not a big deal. As I was saying, go, go check out our podcast. You break the fucking mic. <laughs> go check out our podcast, not this one. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us for episode 66 of Dropouts. I'm Indiana. That's Zach Justice. That's Jerry Brand Music. Wait, this wait, before we go, oh, wait, where can they find you on the internet? Like everywhere else? Like My at? handle is at Ilya Fetty. 
Gotcha. My handle is uh, uh, oh, U-G-H. Oh. It's Joe. Gotcha. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next week for another episode of Dropout. And if you guys stay to the end, send me a picture of um, the scariest mouse from Mickey from uh, that the restaurant he worked at. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck e. Chuck e. Mickey. Uh, <laughs> Chuck e. Mickey uh, that you can find in the DMs. Thank you. Well, Jerry, that was fun, huh? I had a blast. What'd you guys think? Did you have fun? That was great. Oh, cool. Perfect. I love the outro music. Thank, Thank you. I made it. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs>